Hi guys, and thanks a lot for listening to this uh, tutorial video on uh, unit roof uh, testing. So, uh, if you are listening to this uh, tutorial video, it means that you are searching how to make a unit roof test uh, using SPSS. So, uh, in SPSS, I suppose that you have uh, a database report that have uh, your different, uh, different variables. So you have, for example, uh, oil prices, which is here. You have uh, oil prices in more uh, monthly basis here in our database. So to make a unit growth test, you just need to go in, uh, in a tab view and click on unit roof test unit roof test you click on it and you have a choice to uh, choose you have to choose uh, which which test you are going to do is it a an augmented decay fuller test or an uh, decay fuller test or Philippe Perron or KPS KPSS or uh, and so on. So uh, I will choose the default uh, test uh, which is appointed to get for your test. So you also need to choose whether uh, you are test in, in level, in first difference or in second difference. So uh, first difference and second different tests are made uh, when uh, you already uh, test you are silly not to be uh, stationary so you can test whether or not uh, the theory is stationary in first or second difference so you let uh, a level uh, test to test whether or not uh, a theory is uh, stationary at level so uh, you also have a choice to include the intercept in your, uh, your theory or a friend and intercept or Put anything so we choose the uh, uh, there are so many uh, uh, series that are, that are trend stationary uh, or intercept stationary so you choose the option or not to put any uh, anything in our series so we just click on OK and you resolve uh, what you can see on your screen can see that the critical value of uh, the augmented decay flow test for the unit group uh, in oil price series uh, show that uh, the critical value is the, the, the test statistic is uh, much higher than any critical value, whether it is uh, 1, 5, or 10 percent. It means that uh, our theory is uh, not stationary, so we, we accept the null hypothesis, which is uh, there is a unit roof test in oil, in oil series, oil prices. Uh, you can also uh, take a decision of accepting or, or rejecting the null hypothesis using a p value, which is uh, at the last column of, uh, of our table. Uh, results so if uh, p value is uh, more than the threshold which can be one five or ten percent we can just uh, accept the null hypothesis which is uh, our series have unit roof test so uh, as our series ha series have a unit roof uh, we can just test the unit roof in first difference. So we go on view, unit roof test, and we click on first difference. We choose the option first difference to see whether or not as a series is not uh, stationary. Is it stationary at first difference? We will see it uh, a little bit sooner. We just click on OK, and we see that uh, a p-value is uh, less significant to uh, to, to, to accept uh, null hypothesis which means that uh, our series is uh, stationary at first difference so the first difference of our series is uh, stationary you see that uh, test statistic is uh, of augmented difference
the uh, Kefuro test is uh, less than uh, critical value at 1, 5, and 10%, which means that our series is uh, just stationary in different. So that's it for this uh, tutorial. I hope it helped you understand uh, uh, unit growth test using SPSS and hope you will subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel in order to uh, discover more content or help me build uh, what uh, kind of situation you, you what kind of tutorial you need in order to improve your, your statistic level.